Good evening everyone at home in the snow. It's Imogen here from Bangers and Balls and we're going live again from Portugal where Bangers and Balls is on tour until the 12th of February. Lucky us. And let's see where Chef Duncan is today. Oh look, he's right there. Hello, how are you? How is everybody at home? Good, thanks. Well, I don't know, I'm answering for them. <laughs> what are we making today? I can see... There's barbecue. A There's a barbecue yeah, there going. obviously, midwinter we'd love a barbecue. We're doing sardines today. Oh, is this your under 10 minute simple succulent sardines recipe? <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Um, these are sardines, Ooh. aka pilchards, aka fishes. Lovely. Alright, so a very simple as usual recipe that we're going to do today. Um, I'm just going to show you what's been going on. See these here? Yep. If you saw our um, alioli uh, two minute recipe, you'll know how to infuse olive oil with these wonderful ingredients. The alioli one, I use a lot of garlic because it was a garlic sauce. This one, I've only got two cloves going on. There's also some butter added. So I um, poured the oil into a very cold, cool pan, add the, the aromatics, and then put, melted the butter into it. And that is what I got. Delicious, and I'm just showing our younger chef here who's um, quite interested in what's going on. Oh, she's a bit camera shy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna um, put about, about a third of that over on our lovely little fish. Look at these beautiful things. They do, what do they call them? The silver, silverness of the sea. So I'm just gonna, or ideally I'd be using uh, a kitchen brush um, not a broom. As I was going to ask you if it was a broom. <laughs> yeah, Imogen mentioned this earlier. She thought maybe I meant a broom. No, I mean like a small brush. Do you know what would be perfect would be a shaving brush or a uh, a, a paintbrush, like maybe maybe about that size. But um, so a trip to B and Q, but I'm guessing not a cheap one, as the bristles no. might fall out. You don't want the bristles out. Now with your fish, make sure when you get them from the uh, fishmonger. Um, you get them pre-scaled, uh, gutted, and gilled. Um, these weren't, I'd go myself. We're going to be in the future doing a course on how to do this properly. Um, at the moment, not necessarily my forte. So, we've got these beautiful sardines. There's a fresh sardines. This same recipe would work with pilchards. Um, these are pilchards, sorry. They would work with sea bream, they would work with trout, they would work with salmon. It's very, uh, it's very uh, versatile. Before we, um, Dancy, before we, uh, you could just hold that for one sec. Fishy fingers. Wow. Put that oh, I've got fishy oily fingers. I did that, I made sure I rinsed these thoroughly and I coated them in salt and I um, left them for about 20 minutes in salt. There you go, I'm back. And the reason why I did that is because I want to have as little um, liquid as I possibly could. Oh, they look yummy there as they're all on show, ready to go onto the barbecue. So I've just put them in our little uh, uh, fishy grill thing. And where did you get the fish grill? Made it from our world famous local uh, <laughs> a hardware store. I do love the hardware store. It makes me laugh because in Ireland you get the hardware store selling beer, but here it's just the hardware. Now I've got that. Maybe a bit. So the trouble with this barbecue is you can't get it in between. Really, I'd want it about there. So I might just have to hold it. So maybe about six inches from the coals. Perfect. Um. It's going to take between three and five minutes. These are really quick to cook. I'm going to have to leave it there like that. The good thing about this is that I can turn it like that. Um, however, it's going to take three or five, between three and five minutes, depending on how hot your coals are. They're pretty hot. Um, and we're just going to grill them until they're cooked. And why have we chosen sardines today? Well, sardines are the uh, fish of Portugal. 
So it's the most popular fish they have here. Um, also, just it's an oily fish, and they're so healthy, it's unbelievable. They're full of um, omega-3 um, fatty acids. They've got uh, vitamin B12, vitamin A, vitamin D. Um, basically, it's one of the most healthy foods you could eat in your life. It makes you more intelligent, makes you... It's full of <laughs> antioxidants. And they celebrate it over here for St. Anthony's Day, is yep, that right? That's in June. I think it's the 13th of June, is that right? Um, they, um, yes, says the camera from the big old, brec old <laughs> breakfast days. In Lisbon, they have um, a big St. Anthony's Day festival where they're cooking sardines everywhere and you just go from one stall to another eating more and more of them until you, um, you're a t you turn into a sardine yourself. And what are you going to be serving with these sardines today? So, today we've got... Let's put that on there to cook. Yeah. Um, uh, potato salad. Delicious. This potato salad was made with our alioli dip, which I um, created yesterday, and you can see the video on our Facebook page. Um, it's such a simple recipe. It's just uh, infusing ingredients together, and then mixing it with mayonnaise. You can watch the video and you can use it as we have done with um, potato salad. You can use it just as dip with bread or you can um, put it with pasta. You can put it with, on on fish. You can use it, I mean, it's a garlic sauce. So whatever you want garlic to go with. But in Portugal, we have discovered, is absolutely everything. So now what are you doing next? You're just flipping so just this over? this over. And as you can see, you're starting to get a bit of colour on the um, fish like that. And honestly, these takes it's such a quick thing to do. These take no time whatsoever. And at home, if you didn't want to do it on the barbecue, what would you do? Well, you'd put it under the grill. Okay, perfect. Um, you could put them in the oven. Um, but I think under the grill is probably the best way. And um, it's just such a quick, such a simple and such a delicious way to have fish. And it's so healthy, and it's and it's really good. And February is the last month you can have them um, uh, sardines in the UK. You can, uh, according to the who, who is it according to the Marine Conservation Society. Can mm -hmm. you just hold that again for a sec? So according to Marine Conservation Society, they um, suggest you don't have sardines out out of um, between February and September. Because obviously we care a lot of animals and balls about um, of, um, our, our food coming from uh, sources of, you know, Xanthi. Sorry, do you want me to take the phone? Yeah. Sorry. What was I saying? We care a lot at Bangers and Balls about our food being ethically sourced, is what I was trying to say before Xanthi so rudely interrupted. So it's very important for us that we... Um, only buy produce when it's available and when it's um, at its best. And as I was saying, sardines after February are advised not to be eaten if they're fresh. Obviously, tin ones are, are fine. Or frozen. Or frozen, yep. Yeah. Frozen fish is great actually because it's one of the. They tend to freeze it on the boat. So lots of food isn't so brilliant frozen, but fish. Absolutely fine. Now we're almost there with these. Look, you can see the colouring going through. It's uh, cooked. You can tell when it's cooked just by pinching the middle bit of the, the thickers. If it comes away from the bone, which it doesn't quite yet, we're going to turn it over, maybe the other side. What? This is a tricky bit of kit. Yeah, so as it comes away from the bone like that, that means it's quite, that's definitely cooked. It smell, it's smelling delicious. Can't wait to tuck into this with a, what wine have we got this oh, evening? Oh, that's very interesting. So, I'm just gonna leave that there. Normally with fish, you would have a white wine, but as sardines are quite an oily and flavoursome fish, a red wine goes really well. And we've got this local Quinta de Tour um, Algarve wine, and it's absolutely fabulous. <laughs> And we're going to be drinking this red wine with fish. And I don't care what you say about wine with fish. This is delicious. Cheers. <laughs>
I could have let it rain. Could you just... I know, Papa. 